Another team that is going to the FBS level from FCS is Sam Houston State, another Texas team, just exactly what we needed. This is a team that I think has uh, what it takes to be successful. Now, last year probably doesn't tell you that, but this is also a team that just a few years ago won a national championship at the FCS level. They're in a good place to be able to recruit and get good talent to come to campus. And it's going to be fun to see what they're able to do in their first year in Conference USA. Now, a big thing is going to be the offense has to get going, but the defense has showed they can be pretty solid. You look at linebacker KVN Gaither, 79 tackles, 12 tackles for loss three sacks, someone who's going to lead this defense, just exactly what this group needs, a veteran who knows what he's doing, he knows the system, he knows how to make plays, and he can get other guys around him to step up as well. This defense, again, like I said, lots of potential here. I think that they showed flashes last year. This is a team that went 5-4 and four in 2022, and I think you're looking at an offense that needs to get going, average 18.3 points per game. The defense only 20.8 points per game. So it clearly was a team that was better defensively than it was offensively. And obviously you're going to face a little bit different competition. You look at some of the teams in Conference USA, Gaither and this defense have their work cut out for them. But I think that this is a group that has potential to be better than they were last year. Speaking of that offense, the quarterbacks are going to be high up on this list because that's how important they're going to be. Now, who it is remains to be seen, but Keegan Shoemaker is going to be one of those options. He was the, if you want to call it, more consistent player between the two. 46.6 percentage uh, in terms of completion percentage isn't going to get the job done. Simply, it's just not going to, especially when you're only rushing for 254 yards as well. Now, again, he was the more consistent player and the more effective player it doesn't really mean that you're going to be that good when it comes down to it at the next level too. So this offense definitely needs to get going only average 4.7 yards per play. The rushing was okay. The passing was horrendous. Again, both players were under 50% completion percentage. The offense needs to get going and the quarterbacks are going to play a huge role in that. Now, one of the guys that was fairly consistent for them, Zach Herbacek is someone who I, I think you're looking at, a go-to guy while the quarterbacks get things figured out. We say this a lot when teams have two quarterbacks, you only, you don't really have any. And right now it feels like Sam Houston state does not have any, the Bearcats are trying to figure things out and having a running back here that can make things happen. That can be consistent is huge for this team. Now, what are they going to do when they face a team that stops the run? Well, again, it's going to come back to the quarterback. So giving the ball to a guy like Herbacek is going to, be a fine option until teams take that away so what do you have instead this is someone who averaged 5.8 yards per carry a pretty solid average but i think that they're going to need to give him some help the other quarterback in that equation is former georgia tech transfer jordan yates someone who a lot of people had high hopes for coming into sam houston state even when he went to georgia tech i think a lot of people expected him to be better than he was 47.1 on the completion percentage only 265 yards passing, no touchdowns, three interceptions. Average 4.4 yards per carry, which was fine. But again, he was not the more consistent player, and that's going to keep you out of games. Now, if he finds a way to get better, we will see. I, I don't know. Casey Keeler has a lot of experience. He has brought this team to the national championship game and won one. So you know he has the experience to get them to play at a higher level. It's just going to be more difficult when you go up to the FBS level. Now, who wins the quarterback battle? We're not sure. Do they have a two-quarterback system? We'll see what happens, but a guy like Jordan Yates has the talent to do it. It's just a matter of putting it on the field. Now, going back to the defense, this is where maybe these guys deserve to be higher on the, this list, but Jalen Phillips didn't really have the production to get him higher up. Now, that being said, I think that he and Gaither give them two of the better linebackers in Conference USA. 36 tackles, five tackles for loss. He has the experience to be able to make things happen. And, and I really like his size too at 6'2", 225. Someone who I, I think that can make a lot of big plays in 2023. We just don't know how are they going to handle that. This defense returns quite a bit of talent. And that's really exciting for a group that th this was the unit that kept them afloat last year. But a 5-4 and four season last year doesn't exactly bode well, when you're moving up a level, but when it comes down to it, I think that guys like Phillips 
are going to have to make big plays until the offense figures things out. Another Phillips here, Jaden Phillips, the New Mexico transfer. Pretty decent year. Again, when you're playing on the inside of the defensive line, you're probably not going to get a ton of recognition, uh, but you're going to have to work really hard to, to get your guys to make big plays behind you. Now, this is someone who probably isn't going to make a ton of plays, fill up a stat sheet, but he is going to break things open for the guys behind him, for guys like Jalen Phillips and Gaither behind him. Those linebackers are going to step up when he makes plays because he's going to command more attention and he's going to make things easier for the guys behind him. Now, when we go to the offensive side of the ball of what needs to happen, for, uh, we talk about the quarterbacks. Obviously, they need to step up, but players that can help them are at wide receiver. Alvante Woodard, someone who can make that happen. He averaged 13.4 yards per catch last year, two touchdowns, only 16 catches. Again, this offense needs a passing attack that can step up, and guys like Woodard can make that happen. This is not a difficult thing to figure out. But at the same time, it's easier said than done. You have to be able to put that on the field. Woodard has good size at 6'2", 195. And I, I think he can step up for this team. It's just a matter of what do the quarterbacks do? What does that position do for this offense, for this passing attack? Back to the defensive side of the ball, Caleb Weaver. Uh, I, this secondary, I think, is going to be really fun. I think that they have the potential to step up in a big way. And when you look at what they did last year, it wasn't a great pass defense, but I think that there's a lot of potential to get even better in 2023. Now they're going to face some really explosive passing attacks. Specifically, when you look at Western Kentucky, you look at Liberty, there's a lot of teams in this conference that are going to make life difficult for you. So that's where Kayla Weaver comes in huge. And if they're able to step up and make things happen on this side of the ball, especially slowing down the pass, then I think Sam Houston State looks better in 2023. Another wide receiver to keep your eye on is Noah Smith. Very small in terms of, of size here, but I, I think that he could be a good player for this offense. Again, we talk about the quarterbacks and what they need to do, but there's plenty of options to be utilized. You just have to find a way to get them the football. Smith averaged 10 yards per catch, one touchdown. Again, only 16 catches, but... It's someone who can take a step forward and make this team even better this year. Finally, on the defensive side of the ball, Akeem Meatball Smith, former Georgia State transfer, who for his career, 55 tackles, eight tackles for loss. Another player, again, we talk about the interior of that defense. Probably not going to get a ton of recognition, but this is going to be a group that can step up in a big way. They can make things happen, and someone like Smith may not get the recognition he deserves from the mainstream media, the, the casual college football fan, but if he's doing his job right, his coaches and the opponents that are scouting him are going to know what he can do.